Hey guys, what's up? Cece back with another video for Bradley Party of Six. If it's your first time watching our channel, just make sure you go ahead, click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, all that good stuff so you never miss a single upload. So let me tell you guys, first of all, I'm so sorry you can see my mic, but this was the best way I could figure out how to do it since I changed my setup a little bit. So, um, sorry, that's showbiz. It's not showbiz, it's just me sitting in front of my camera at my house, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> But anyway, let's jump into this video. This video has been super requested and you guys want to know what I carry in my diaper bag for a newborn. So for those of you who just popped on my channel because of this video or you have not been watching and you just subscribed, I have a newborn. My baby MJ is a little over three weeks old. I can't believe how fast time is going, but yeah, he's a little over three weeks old. And so we haven't been going too many places just, you know, because of COVID-19 and all that stuff. However, the times that we do go out, like we have to go out today somewhere, the times that we do go out, I do have to carry a diaper bag. So I try to be a lot more strategic about the stuff that I put in my diaper bag this time. I am a third time mom, so I have a five and a six year old girl five and six year old girls so i have two of them and then <laughs> i have mj who is again a little over three weeks so again this time i tried to be a little more strategic about what i carry with me you don't want to carry like everything in the kitchen sink with you that's what i used to do and so i still feel like i have maybe a little too much stuff but i think it's a good amount of stuff for us and i think it it makes me feel good about the amount of stuff that we have because i feel like this is really the stuff that we need all right, so let's start off with the type of diaper bag that I use. I get this question all the time. What type of diaper bag I chose, why I chose the one I chose, what type of research did I do, all that stuff. So I have the Fawn Design diaper bag and I chose this bag for a few reasons. I did a lot of research on what diaper bag I wanted to choose this time. Last time with my girls, I just used the diaper bags that we got as gifts, honestly, and they were really basic diaper bags, and so I, I just, I didn't really love them. I didn't feel like they were as functional as they could be, and they definitely were not stylish. So um, I did not wanna do that this time, so I chose my own diaper bag, and I went to Dallas to visit my cousin. She just had a baby, this was in February. So she just had a baby in December. So her baby is five months older than my baby. And so um, when I was there in February, I was kind of picking her brain about diaper bags and what, you know, what she's using and all of that. And she had a fawn design diaper bag. And I was like, oh my God, that's really cute. I really love it. And so I looked at it, I did research, I compared it to other brands, and this just seemed like it would be the best option for me, so that's why I chose it. I actually got mine off of Amazon, so I will make sure to link that down below in the description box so you guys can see it. I think I have actually a whole baby playlist or a whole baby list on Amazon that you guys can check out. But um, yeah, this diaper bag is everything for me. It is large enough yet not super large where you feel like you're carrying a huge ass bag on your back. And then it also has different ways that you can carry it. So you can carry it by like backpack style so if you guys see those straps those you can carry the the bag on your back but you can also carry it as a shoulder bag so this one strap here it's adjustable so any size person can use it and you can um, carry it just on your shoulder like this i find that to be super cute and um most of the time i carry it as a backpack though because i need to be like all hands free with everybody and everything that i have with me but i do like to carry it as a shoulder bag on occasion um, I also chose the navy blue just because I thought it was just a really really cute color if Mark ever wanted to grab this bag he could totally do so and it's not super girly even though I do have him his own diaper bag a separate diaper bag but he's never used it yet but <laughs> this um, this color isn't super girly I feel like it's nice and neutral and so if he wanted to grab this bag he could totally do so 
The compartments inside are really nice as well. It comes with lots of pockets, lots of compartments, and again, just lots of room for me to throw all of my junk in. And then lastly, again, it is just super stylish. I feel like I do not mind wearing this. I don't wear purses really anymore since I've had the baby, just because that's too much stuff to carry with me. So everything I need, I can drop it in this bag. And again, it just looks really good as I'm carrying it. So those are the reasons that I did choose the Fond Design bag if you guys are looking for a diaper bag if you're pregnant or you're looking for another diaper bag I would definitely do your research as far as what you need or what you think you're going to carry with you and I guess how often also you're out with the baby and then choose according to that so let's start getting into this bag the first thing you guys probably notice that I have little things clipped on the outside of the bag so the first thing that I have clipped here is a car seat what do you, a car seat key, that's what you call it. And so basically, if you guys have ever used a car seat, if you have longer nails, when you go to try to get your baby out of the car seat and you push the button, your nail, like I've broke so many nails trying to do that with the girls. And then I happened to be looking on Amazon one day and I was like, oh my God, this would have been so helpful when I had my girls. So I said that I would definitely get this with MJ and I have one and so basically, um, you just take this little portion right here, this little part, and this is the part that you kind of push into the little red button to release the kid, and you don't have to use your fingers and break your nails. So it's a perfect little contraption. I'll also have this link down below as well, and I absolutely love this thing. I also have this clipped on the outside of the bag, and these are just like little poop bags. So I feel like if you have an animal, you probably carry something around like this. At least I hope you do when you're walking your animal. However, um, these are for kids. And so I clip this on the outside of the bag. If your child has a blowout where they have poop all over their clothes or even a dirty diaper, maybe you're in someone's home and you don't just wanna throw the dirty diaper in their trash can, you can put it in this bag and it helps mask the smell. And then you can go ahead and throw it in the trash can. Or again, if they have clothes that you need to transfer transport home that maybe they've pooped all in you can add it to this bag and then transport the clothes home so I love these they I mean multi-purpose okay if you're in the car on a road trip with the baby and you just need a trash bag for some reason these are so multi-purpose I love these I use these with my girls and they didn't come in this nice little travel case though so I think these are really cool and they definitely come in handy all right, I'm gonna stick with all the compartments on the outside of the bag first. There are two pockets on the back of the bag. One is this zippered pocket right here, which I don't normally keep anything in, but you can add whatever you want in this pocket right here. And then there is another pocket right here on the back of the bag. And what I keep in here is one, I keep my little Louis Vuitton um, like clutch, and this just has like my debit cards and money and all of that stuff in here so this is basically what I carry for a purse nowadays and that stays in my back pocket of my diaper bag so I always know where it is and I don't have to dig too far for it I also keep a pair of sunglasses in the bag. Um, again, don't carry a purse, so I need somewhere to put my sunglasses, especially since it's the summertime. Um, these come quite in handy. And then the last thing in this back pocket is this leather changing mat. So I had like a regular changing mat, but it was so bulky and I didn't like the way it fit in this pocket. So I ended up purchasing this one from Amazon and I absolutely love it. So the one side is leather, which is really nice because you can wipe it off if you get anything on it from the baby. But the other side, it's like, I don't know what you call it, but it's just a material that doesn't slip when you put it on a surface. And you definitely need a changing mat because you never know what type of surface you may have to change your baby on. Like if you're in a restaurant and they have those changing tables, you don't know who's been on them changing tables. So you want something as a barrier between your baby's, your baby's butt and the changing table. You know what I'm saying? So this comes in such great handy and it's just so small it folds up so small and so compact and so it fits really nicely in the bag 
You can also put like your iPad or a laptop back here as well. This pocket is pretty large so you can fit a good amount of stuff in it. So next I'm gonna move to this side pocket and only thing I keep in here is my small vlogging camera. So as a vlogger, um, I like to have a camera with me at all times. So I try to keep this little mini vlogging camera with me. And the nice thing about this mini camera is basically um, just that it's so small. I mean, it's the size of my hand. So it's really tiny and it fits anywhere. And it's very like discreet when you're trying to vlog. And on top of that, it's just easy to hold when you have a baby and a diaper bag and all types of other stuff. So I like to keep this in this little pocket with me. In the front pocket, I just have some more like grab and go stuff that I know I'm gonna need. So I keep a hand cream in the front pocket because as much as we're washing our hands these days, you absolutely need a hand cream. This is the Tony Moly Ambrose hand cream. I have some fruit snacks in the front pocket. This comes in handy for myself or my girls or even the 12 year old, you know what I'm saying? Like all three of our other kids, like, I don't know, for some reason kids are always hungry. You can literally just feed them and they are always hungry. So I try to keep snacks or sometimes even juice boxes in the front pocket so they can easily grab something if maybe we're on a long car ride or anything like that. I kind of finished these off yesterday when we went out so there's only one pack in here but normally there's like four packs of fruit snacks. There is a lip balm in the front pocket. So this is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I love this lip mask. And so I keep this with me in case I don't have anything in my little clutch. And then lastly, I just keep a breast milk storage freezer bag. This is the Lansano brand. And these are the freezer bags that I use when I do pump my milk. So I am exclusively pumping milk for the baby. He does not feed off of me. If you guys wanna see like my breastfeeding routine or my pumping routine, I will link that video right up here. But I am an exclusive pumper. So if I'm out and I need to pump milk and I need to put it in a freezer bag, I'll have one with me. And the last of the outside pockets, I do keep just an empty bottle in here. Again, I do pump milk, so the pump that I use, my portable pump, it does not pump in a bottle, it pumps into like these little cups, these little storage containers, and so I can easily transfer the milk from the storage containers right to the bottle and the baby can eat right away once I'm finished pumping. All right, y'all, so let's move to the inside of this bag. The inside of the bag is super large. There's a lot of pockets in here as well, a lot of different compartments, and I just feel like it has enough space for everything that I need. The first thing I see, of course, is again, hand sanitizer. In the climate that we are in, hand sanitizer is a must. Even though I always kept hand sanitizer on me, I do feel like it's really important to have it now, especially when I'm changing diapers or even if somebody's trying to like hold my baby, like a family member or something and we're out and I'm like, uh-uh, wash your hands, honey, or use this hand sanitizer. So always have something with me and it's nice to keep with you. Then the next thing is my portable breast pump. So I am using the LV pump. I actually have two uh, pumps that I use, but my portable one is the LV portable breast pump. It's a wireless pump. It's so amazing and so discreet when you're out and about. So if you um, are looking for maybe a discreet breast pump, you should check out again my breastfeeding routine video because I show you guys how I use these pumps, tell you all the pros and cons of them. But overall, this was such a great investment. I absolutely love these. And so they do stay in the diaper bag. Sometimes I use them at home too, but I do keep them in the diaper bag for the most part when we're out and about so I can pump. So what diaper bag uh, would be complete without diaper? <laughs> So of course, um, we have diapers in here. We are a loves family. We do have some huggies, but um, for the most part, we like loves diapers. I feel like they work so amazing and they're not as expensive as the huggies or the pampers. So I do really like loves diapers. And I just have some packs of travel wipes in here. These are the Pampers brand sensitive wipes and then also the Honest wipes. Babies always need a change of clothes, so I make sure to keep an extra onesie or something in the bag just in case, again, he has a blowout because that's what kids do. So I keep a little extra onesie in the bag. Right now, since it's super warm out, we really don't need like a full outfit. So I just keep him a onesie and that works just fine. I also have him a pair of socks in here. Um, 
yeah, a pair of socks just in case his little toesies get cold. I keep an extra shirt for me in here as well because um, kids will spit up on you, they will poop on you, they will put food on your clothes and so I make sure just to keep an extra t-shirt in here in case I also need to change. I have a little receiving blanket. This is just so again if someone wants to hold him, he doesn't have to be like rubbed up against their clothes. Um, if he gets a little cold and we need to wrap it around him, this works for so many different reasons so I make sure to keep that in the bag then I have this it's it's a car seat cover but it also doubles as a nursing cover so if I am out and about and I need to put my pumps in and I don't want everyone to see my nipples as I'm trying to put my pumps in I do have this um, again car seat slash nursing cover and this um, this will just cover me up as I'm making sure to put everything in but if you are a breastfeeding mama and you actually need to nurse your baby this works well for that too because it'll cover you all up and then of course it'll also cover up the car seat um, in case it's too sunny or too windy and you don't want everything to get in your baby's face all right we have a burp cloth in the bag just to you know clean up any spit up or um, just make sure the baby doesn't spit up on someone who's holding him because my baby has been known to do that there's a hat in the bag and again this is just in case the baby gets cold we're out and about it's getting late we need to add a hat on his little head that's there I have some gum. This is a 60 count um, just gum in case we're out and about and my breath don't smell the greatest or I just want some gum. For some reason there are two pacifiers in here and two pacifier cases. Don't know how two got in here, but we have two pacifiers. I usually only carry one with me and it stays in this little carrying case until he needs it. He's not super reliant on the pacifier, which is really good because my first daughter, she was super addicted to the pacifier, but he's not too addicted, but he does still use them. So I keep uh, one of these in the bag just to make sure we have it if he needs it. Last few items, I do keep Tylenol with me at all times. This is just the extra strength, um, like the CVS brand Tylenol. And I just keep this in the bag with me in case, in case I need it, never know. I also have some petroleum jelly for his little butt. When we do, um, when we do go ahead and change his diaper, I have some petroleum jelly for that. I also put petroleum jelly on his like private area just because he did get circumcised. So I just want to make sure to keep that nice and moisturized, especially after we're wiping it so much. I feel like my baby poops more than I've ever seen any baby poop. Like every single time he uses the bathroom, he poops. It's ridiculous. So I keep the petroleum jelly in there. Also, this is good for the body or um, anything that you need it for. Petroleum jelly is all purpose, honey. And last but not least, I do keep a hairbrush, which I kind of need it right now. I do keep a hairbrush in the bag for myself um, because I don't know, you're out and about, your hair gets messed up, you should have a hairbrush. And so I just keep this little mini hairbrush in the bag as well. So here is the bag all emptied. And it just fits so much stuff. I am so happy with the purchase that we made for that diaper bag. If you guys have any more questions about the diaper bag or about anything that I keep in the diaper bag, or if there's something that I'm missing that you like, girl, you need to have this in your diaper bag, please let me know down below in the comment section. I hope this video was helpful for you. And yeah, I hope it was helpful for you. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your love, for your support, for your congratulations for your well wishes, everything. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.